Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing. We get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news about the fiscal cliff. And unfortunately, it's going to be like that until December the 31st at the earliest. The US Republicans have proposed $2.2 trillion worth of revenue increases and spending cuts to try and fix the fiscal cliff. But it was rejected overnight by President Obama. He says it doesn't include higher tax rates on those with the highest 2% of incomes. He says, quote, there won't be a deal without that higher tax rate on incomes over $250,000 per household. Now, US stocks were flat. They're all waiting really for a deal. New Zealand dollar solid around 82.5 US cents seems to have been in a very tight range for some time. It's also firm versus the Australian dollar at around 78.7 Australian cents, near the top of its range. This is after the Reserve Bank of Australia yesterday afternoon cut its official rate by 25 basis points to 3%. It's now at an equal lowest in half a century, in fact the same as it was in 2009, and economists in Australia expect it to drop towards 2.5%. The Australian economy is slowing down because the mining boom seems to be ending after the slowdown in the Chinese economy. We'll see whether it goes lower and what that does to the New Zealand dollar versus the Australian dollar. And of course tomorrow morning we're all waiting for the Reserve Bank to come out with its monetary policy announcement and its December quarter monetary policy statement. The focus will be on the New Zealand dollar. Is it too high? What might the Reserve Bank do about it, if anything? Will the Reserve Bank use other tools to try and move the economy? And are bank profits too high? All very topical at the moment. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 from interest.co.nz.